Hello everyone and welcome to the Descent Game World trailer breakdown. I'm Dari Ilina, the community developer for Division 2, and today I'm joined by our favorite product director, Morten Ryberg, uh, who is gonna get into all the details and show us how the trailers are made. Hello, Morten. Hi, Daria. Thank you for having me here at the lovely Massive Studio. Always. Okay, let's get into the breakdown. To me, as a player, as a consumer, it's important to be hooked up in a few first seconds. And I think what we see here the green watch yeah um i would say the green watch is potentially not the most important thing here right here we are just trying to establish what is the division so from the get-go it's very obvious that it's a trailer for that product um so it shows here an agent clearly visual with the tech um and in combat with some of the known npcs uh, factions from the game um, so just to, and, and yes, we are action from the get go because uh, we know that the intention span is, is very, very short if we don't, you know, capture them immediately. Um, so that's like the first couple of seconds is really trying to establish, you know, who are we? We are the division two. And then the shot we see uh, on screen right here. Um, so that's really the only way that we felt we could show the roguelite mode, meaning that it's a mode where you have to play it over and over um, and it's okay to die uh, because normally we don't show agents dying in our trailers um, but since it's such an you know integral part of a roguelite mode it, it was important to to feature that um, in a way that it makes sense that that uh, it's part of the journey basically so yeah here we can not only see the gameplay but the short glimpse at the story and how the mode plays. Yeah. And then we get to the point where that you mentioned uh, the, the, green watch. the green watch. Yeah. Um, and, and really in those few, few seconds, uh, we're telling why it's a green watch and why, you know, you're, you're dying and, and starting over because it's, you know, happening in a simulation. Um, it also explains some of the different locations that we're showing in the different clips that we're mixing a lot of different things um, in into one game mode. Uh, so yeah, that's like a few few seconds uh, of the trailer that just uh, plants that idea uh, in the in the minds of of uh, those watching. But um, talking about the green watch again, since the agent watch is so iconic for the division two. It produced a lot of speculations on the community side the first time we showed the key art. And I think to me, it's what hooks me up first and foremost, because I'm actually surprised to see a different color, a completely new color that yeah. is supposed to mean the simulation. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, we did tease this uh, in an image on the live stream back in September uh, of 22. Um, we didn't mention it, uh, and it actually took some time for, for some players to discover that, hey, wait a minute, uh, maybe this is not just, you know, a concept or a drawing, but actually something that will be featured. And then the speculations really, you know, started growing in, in different directions. Um, but yeah, it was a, a fun little uh, nod to, to the game mode. And yeah, talking about the simulation, that's exactly the part of the trailer where you get to see the most exciting part, at least for me. It's time to see what you're capable of. Yeah, so if we if we look at those seconds again, it's, um, again, it's in a very, very few seconds, we're telling a, a couple of different things. So with this shot right here with the three dots, um, of course, it's it's a tribute to one of our friends uh, in in one of our other games, uh, Sam Fisher, um, and this basically is trying to indicate that this whole uh, this whole game mode uh, takes place in an NSA research facility. So basically, in the um, the lore on on this this descent game mode is the AI that is testing different combat uh, techniques and trying to learn um, from agents. 
and uh, the NSA has been doing uh, a lot of tests and research on this. Uh, and you know, NSA is being uh, the Sam Fisher and and uh, third echelon uh, universe. Um, so that's what uh, we're trying to just uh, do a very very short uh, indication of in, in this uh, particular shot. And then, of course, it uh, it fades into uh, a very well known uh, antagonist. So this is the player, and then Aaron Kina. So. Those a few uh, transitions here is that um, the nemesis fight, so the boss that you're trying to get to in the game mode is a replication of the different talents and, and the builds that you've accumulated over that play, uh, playthrough. And that replicates and, and is, you know, we're trying to show that by you being, meeting yourself, but um, you will take, or that AI will take the, uh, visual representation of one of the main bosses from the game. And in this uh, shot here, it's Aaron Kina from uh, Wallace of New York. So yeah, there's a lot going on uh, when you dig into it and, and, and beneath the surface. Um, I'm sure, you know, you could watch this and be super happy just by, you know, seeing, oh, right, that's Aaron Kina and three dots is perfect. Thank you. Um, but, you know, that goes a lot of, uh, of thinking into actually making these shots. Um, and, and tie them all together. You know, we also need to add, so, t you know, telling a story um, inside the game engine uh, has its limitations, of course. Uh, so we can't really just play it because that would be boring. Um, and so we also need to add elements in order to really emphasize what it's all about um, that you won't see in the game. Um, there are some, some uh, if we take a look at the, one of the first scenes where he pushes the button with the green watch. So this, this simulation, the screens, um, the animation of the watch, it's all been, you know, added in post-production. The room is real. It, it, that exists and it is one of the entry rooms or the lobby rooms uh, of the game mode. But we are adding some details um, to try and, you know, tell what's going on. Um, because we, we can't have, you know, the, the bigger uh, storytelling or elaborations of what's happening to the players. And we don't have any UI to explain, you know, uh, this is what you're going to do. Um, so, so we're adding elements to try and, and tell the same detail or give the same kind of information to the player. Um, but, you know, in a very, very few seconds and, and only with visuals that actually pleases and fits into a trailer. Um, the same is... Um, also going on with uh, after the Kina shot. Yeah, this big hole. Um, there's a lot of uh, green animation stuff. Uh, of course, that uh, transition doesn't exist. Um, and then the hallway with, with the green uh, squares all the way through. We have those elements um, sporadically in the game, um, but not as it's shown here. So it's, it's again, it's trying to show that it's a simulation and, and really, you know, have full focus on, on, on doing that in like one second. Uh, so we need to be very, you know, dramatic about it. Okay, thank you so much, Morden, for explaining us all the details that we saw in the brand new trailer. And I hope you guys learned a lot of new things today. I sure did. So thank you so much again. You're welcome. And I just want to remind you all that if you want to try the new Descent game mode, it's going to be available on the PTS Phase 2, and we'll announce the dates shortly. Stay tuned, and see you. Bye.